Waza, waza, waza. My boys. Back again, dog. Back again. Dog. Back again, yeah. man. It's been a, it's been a while. Back, dog. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You know, we, we went out there to practice, so you know we got a big time interview today. So, but after the interview, we gonna tell you, give y'all our thoughts. Look at, look at. Actually, got mine. Actually, got mine. We're going to give y'all our thoughts on what we thought from the first uh, oh, I, practice. We did. I didn't make it to practice, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Hope, hope, hope didn't make it, y'all. Hope didn't make it. Nope, he didn't make it. <laughs> he didn't make it, y'all. I don't know what Ben is. Fashionably late. Yeah, he'll, he'll be popping on soon. He might have uh, decided to go to work today. You know how Ben do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How everything going, y'all? Good? <laughs> We good, man. Yeah, man. You We're know, good, Trey, man. I heard the guys right. was down at your elementary school today. Listen, man, the guys was down in the big city of Liberty at Amen County Elementary School, man. Man, so uh, shout out to Mr. JJ, man, the, the head of the 1871 Collective. We had Malachi Bailey, Truck Griffin, and Tyler Macon down reading to the kids for Dr. Seuss Week. Shout out to my girl, uh, Shanville, who's the counselor at Amen County Elementary, who's also an Arcanite. She hit me up and we made this thing happen. The kids enjoyed it, man. The fellas enjoyed it. So it was it was a beautiful thing, man. And most of these kids, you know, that go to all coin games during the season. So now yeah. those kids actually have a chance to say, oh, I know 44. You know what I'm saying? I know seven. I know 85. Well, well I ain't going to put that news out there yet. So it was just yeah. a beautiful thing, man. And the fellas, the fellas enjoyed it. And the kids definitely enjoyed it. So shout out to the 1871 Collective and those athletes now look i gotta give them boys a shout out too because they didn't want to be late for their meeting because i was gonna get them a yak burger but they ain't had time to wait <laughs> okay 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 yeah. okay 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 oh, i gotta give me a yak burger man man listen listen bro you're gonna be driving to liberty every day but see but you ain't far in bad Ridge, though man you about yeah, 45 minutes down the road man. yeah i ain't that far i might come through you know you know I, i'm i i'm i represent wu town though i really don't be hanging out living <laughs> like that yeah I got, I got that wu in my blood dog well go get you a hazel burger <laughs> yeah yeah i'm rocking with them hazel burgers <laughs> we got we got, we got, hey, got big day today hey, yeah. what's up baby man what's up bro it's been a long day for your boy <laughs> Big hey, day. We like, can't stay out here too long. I forgot they got a basketball game tonight. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we got we got big time business. We hey, got big time business. Every time I've been to get out here eat. It's been a long day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since since the uh since last season, I think the last couple of years, our biggest gripe and complain and questions we've been having, just as a fan base, has been the offense. It's been it's the so offense, crazy. you know what I'm saying? I can remember after Coach T getting the job, everybody, gee, who who gonna be the OC, G? Who gonna be the OC? What the offense gonna look, look like? Everybody's asking me about practice. They're asking about the offense. I said, look, stop asking me, dog. Okay. Stop asking me, because listen, I got one career touchdown and that came on a fumble of recovery, okay? Stop asking me. Stop asking <laughs> me, dog. Stop asking me, dog. Stop asking me. Stop, okay? So uh, tonight we're gonna bring up our guy. We want to formally introduce our new OC, Jermaine Gibbs. What's up, Coach? Um, the man is here. <laughs> the man is here, Coach. Can't hear you, Coach. Unmute, you can't hear you, unmute your mic, Coach. Okay, all right. Can you hear me now? There you go, Coach. We on. We on. Hey, I'm over here on the reservation living a dream. Yes, sir, Coach. Coach. Start, start us off with, uh, tell us about being on a reservation. Just getting here, getting here, uh, coming in. How's it been so far? Uh, it's been been really welcoming. Um, you know, when I got here, uh, everybody opened their arms up and, and, and brought me in. Uh, you know, obviously Coach Thomas is already here, and uh, he kind of kind of showed me the ropes, which way to go, which, you know, um, the, 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 the folks up in the office, uh, gave me an opportunity to to be smooth in the transition as far as getting the paperwork done. Uh, Ms. Cook up here uh, in athletics, she did a wonderful job of, of getting me straight, you know. And and so everybody's trying to help and make sure that this transition is as smooth as possible. And I'm excited about it, man. It's probably uh, one of the smoothest transitions that I've had in my career. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's yeah, good to hear, yeah, man. And so <laughs> you know, but hey. We are in the middle of nowhere. 
<laughs> okay, we are in the middle of nowhere. Now, I'm not a stranger to that because when I when I went to, uh, you know, I, I went to undergrad in Southern Arkansas, and at the time, Southern Arkansas it was in Columbia County, and it, it was a dry county. You know, at like every college student. When they first get there, they want to know where the store is at. So you go get some cold adult beverages, right? Well, <laughs> it's a dry county, so you got to drive 30 minutes to go get a beer. And I didn't know that <laughs> when I took the scholarship. So I'm looking for the liquor store, and, and it, I got a ball ride to go down there. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm not a, I'm not a, <laughs> I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. You know, I, the, the, the road to PG is not too bad. I done got used to that one. Uh, I done got used to the drive to Fed, so you know I'm, I'm right at home, man. I'm right at home, man. That's what's up. So I know you, I know you at home because look how he said Fed. Right. Fed. Yeah, he <laughs> said it. Right. Fed. <laughs> so, yes, sir. What, what I want to know is, um, how did the um, connection start between you and Coach Thomas? So, Coach Thomas and I, uh, TC TC Taylor, the head coach at Jackson State, right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I was his receivers coach when we were at North Carolina Central. Uh, TC and Coach Thomas uh, were real tough coming through the junior college sector uh, some years back. And, uh, you know, so Coach Thomas was looking for a guy uh, when he got the Pine Bluff gig. And, you know, TC wasn't able to take it at the time, so he kind of put me on. And I went through the process. And, you know, I, I, I won Coach over, uh, you know, in the interview uh, at the convention. You know, it wasn't – it wasn't uh, a normal every day. I'm telling you, I, I walked up in there with a computer and some PowerPoints and a flash drive and all that stuff. He was like, look, man, we're going to move these tables. We're going to move this furniture and, and we're going we gonna to talk through this. Yeah. And, uh, so we, we went in there and, and, and that's how it happened. And so by conversation and by uh, interview and putting applications into play, you know, I was able to show them you know, that I knew ball and, and that I could coach. And, you know, at the end of the day, coaching is about teaching. And that's what ultimately he wanted to see, if I could teach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so take us back, Coach. How was it working for Coach Summers back? Let's go back to the UAPB days. Talk about just getting started at UAPB with Coach Summers. How was all right. It? So, you know, we get in there. Uh, first of all, I, I, I'm i on the yard two weeks. You know, <laughs> I get there right before spring ball. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a member of the, the most prestigious fraternity on, on planet earth, you know, so I, uh, we got, we got a, a little break and I, I decided I was going to go to, to one of the young bros. They was probating. Right. So I, I go back to Magnolia, Magnolia and Pine Bluff was about, uh, I want to say an hour, 45 minutes. I had time to go down there. We were on a little bit of break. So, um, I had the opportunity to get down there and, I messed around and 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 jumped in one of them party hop lines. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a bad idea because on the first turn, there went my Achilles. Rip. Wow. All right. So, you know, I, I get back to Pine Bluff on a on a Sunday. I go to the emergency room. Uh, they tell me I need to go see the doctor. Uh, I get in there. Uh, to see Coach Thomas that Monday morning, I said, Coach, I gotta go. I gotta go to the doctor. The doctor told me I had to have surgery. We had practice on Thursday. I was under the knife on Wednesday. Damn. All right. So after the surgery, you know, I, I, I shook back, and I was out there on crutches and a scooter coaching. Uh, wow. But you know, he understood, and uh, the biggest thing for him was I didn't miss no work. Like I was going to work and I think ultimately that's what he cares about. You know, he, he's going, he's going to make it a relaxed, uh, relaxed atmosphere. He's going to make it fun. It's family oriented and all that good stuff. But at the same time, uh, when it's time to go to work, it's time to go to work. And you'll hear him say that all the time. It's time to go to work. Um, uh, and I was going to be at work. Uh, all right, coach, before we get into the questions about, you know, all corn football, can you give us and give the people a rundown of your coaching career? Where did you start and all the way up to now, if you don't mind? Okay, so I uh, I started at, at my alma mater, Southern Arkansas University, uh, but it, it took me a little while to graduate. So uh, when I graduated in 2002, I went back home to California. I was, I was managing hotels for 
a uh, year and a half, almost two years. Uh, and then a man by the name of Steve Quinn, who was the head coach at that point in time at Southern Arkansas, called me just out of the blue. I didn't know what I was going to do. My, my undergrad major was biology. So I thought I was going to be in somebody's lab in a, in a white coat, you know, poking at mice and, and stuff like that. Um, and he called me and asked me if I wanted a free ma master's degree. All right. Anytime it's free, it's for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really, I really was about education at the point in time. It just took me a little while to get it done. Cause after that, uh, I thought I was going to be a doctor, right? Thought I was going to be a doctor, but after the fourth time I took university chemistry, I knew that was going to be, <laughs> that was going to be a tough road to hold right there. So I get, I get home, I graduate. Um, uh, he called me, asked, asked me if I wanted a free master's degree. Uh, this was in, uh, at the end of May. Uh, I said, when do I need to be there? He said, July 15th. I packed up all my kids, my wife and I, we left furniture and everything. We got in the little Zuzu Trooper, you know, the little box of Zuzu Troopers back in the day. Uh, and we hit that highway. 24 hours later, we pulling up back in Magnolia, Arkansas. Um, and that's when I started. All right. So, I get there, I'm all set to go, and then they tell me that uh, my GPA was a little bit too low uh, to go into grad school right away. So I had to take some undergrad courses uh, to get over the threshold. So I went back and took an extra semester of undergrad um, so that I could get over that 2.75, which was needed. Uh, once I did that, um, then I went into grad school. But I coached for a whole year as a volunteer uh, student assistant. The only thing I got paid for was was traveling to pick up film, you know. So and and back then we were in the Gulf South Conference. So uh, those those trips were you know from Arkansas to Valdosta, Georgia. That's a long ways, you know. Uh, or from Valdo uh from Southern Arkansas to Delta State, you know. We had to get in the car and go go get that film so that we can have some film to break down for the opponents. And that was what I got, 33, uh, I think it was 30 cents a mile at that point in time. Uh, so did that for a year. And then in 2004, uh, I was admitted to grad school. So I, I, I coached for two years, then uh, switched sides of the ball. I went to defense uh, my last semester. And then I got my first full-time job at Mars Hill University in Mars Hill, North Carolina. Um, when I got there, I spent four years there, uh, then left and, and became the offensive coordinator at St. Augustine's University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, was the best the best time of, of my young career. Uh, I was able to to get there and turn a struggling program around into a to a postseason appearance. Um, we went nine and two in 2010. I uh, had a 1,300 yard rusher, and uh, we 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 really did some good things. Uh, in that year. So I stayed there for three years and then had the opportunity to go back to Mars Hill. Uh, I get back to Mars Hill. I do four more years there. Uh, then I hit North Carolina Central in 2016 under Coach Jerry Mack. Uh, stayed there two years. Uh, Coach Mack goes to, uh, I believe he goes to Rice at the time. Uh, I get the opportunity opportunity to go see said at UAPB and the rest is history. So I get to, I get to say it. Uh, you know, obviously you guys know about the things that we did at University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, um, you know, had a rough, rough first year. Then that second year, we were able to turn it around with a, with a couple of solid recruiting classes. Um, then Coach Thomas leaves, uh, UAPB uh, goes to his next, des next destination. And then I go to Bluefield State University and start a program from scratch uh, with Tony Coxa. Uh When I talk about start a program from scratch, uh, Bluefield State's football team, football program had been dead since for 41 years. Um, and, and we brought it back, uh, got it out the mud. And uh, I mean, I'm talking about when you talk about started from scratch, like we we raised the mascot. So that that Great Dane, that blue Great Dane they got. Yeah, yeah we got it straight off the off the mama after eight weeks and we raised him from a pup. Uh, <laughs> you know, and so that's one of the live mascots uh, that you'll see in the country. Um, so once I get, uh, once I get done at, at Bluefield state, uh, I, I'm the head coach at Lincoln university in Missouri, uh, for two years, um, 
tough road to hold at Lincoln, uh, but I, I felt like it was time for a change. Um, my relationship with Coach Thomas led me, and y'all know Coach, he has a unique ability to make people run through walls, right? So right. I always told him that, man, if you ever, if you if that opportunity arises, don't be afraid to call me because, you know, you, you never you never can't tell what that conversation is going to be like. And it happened and he called me and I felt like I needed to change. So here I am. Yes, sir. Glad to have you, man. We, we excited to have you. You know, uh, I went back and watched some of your offense at UAPB, man. It was explosive. Talk about the offense from your time at UAPB with Skylar Perry. So, you know, a lot of people don't know, you know, you was the head man over there that turned that thing around, you know, a bit of offense. So just talk about well, that high power offense. So let, let's talk about this first. Let's talk about the name of the offense. See, y'all y'all calling it the offense, but my offense, I'm like Oscar Meyer. My, my baloney has a first name, right? <laughs> my offense has a name, all right? It is the Box Storm offense. So box. from here on out, y'all got to refer to it as the Box Storm offense. Is that cool? That's cool. Yeah, I hear that. We'll push it. We'll push it. We're, we're, look, we're talking about the box, right? The, the box yeah. is, is, is the box is that that area that area is surrounded by little white lines that that yeah. we call it the end zone, yeah, right. And yeah. a storm is a is a violent assault on a defended position. Hence the box storm offense. Hey, we storm in the box. We trying to get it across that little white line as many times as possible. Ooh, I love it. We got a we got a box storm oh. full of crackheads. Let's go. Box storm, crackhead. You got, you got a box storm offense and crackhead defense. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know when I when I get to when I get to uh, when I get to University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, um, you know I I get there late, so I'm I'm basically I'm basically dealing with uh, with with the roster that's already intact. Uh, had had a bunch of individuals who. Who had some who had some ability like those guys had some ability they just didn't know how to play together uh so what we what we did was we took the 2018 season to try to get those young men to play together and uh you know it, it was it was it wasn't a bunch of uh you know a bunch of superstars it was just a whole bunch of individuals that wanted to win games uh they had been deprived of that for for a few years and so we got in there and just just showed them the, the the blueprint of how to do it. And once once we got through that tough season, man, we got beat ninety to six at one yeah. point. I remember. Okay. Uh, and you know, coach coach was like, "Hey, we're gonna make a shirt out of that." All right, ninety to six. And we all we were always remembered that day. And then uh, during the off season, that was the whole deal. Uh, this can't ever happen. Uh, we we laid the foundation. We laid the blueprint. You know what to do. You know what it takes uh, to be successful. Now let's do it. Okay. And so we we kept implementing uh, little things that were going to help us get over the get over the edge. And then we turned it around and had a winning season in, in 2019. Uh, but I, I say that to say this: uh, it's never about X's and O's. Everybody, if you sitting in this chair. Uh, as an OC or a position coach or anything like that, you can, we assume that you can draw plays. Like you can, you can put X's and O's on the board and get them to move around and do all of that stuff. Okay, but it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. And what happened there? We went and got some Jimmys and Joes. Okay, to be able to compete with compete with the Gramlings of the world, to compete with the Tennessee States of the world, to compete, you know, with the Southerns of the world. It's it's about recruiting, and you that's how you turn a program around is you take what you have, the core nucleus of guys, and then you add some pieces to fill in the gaps that you need to fill and then keep it moving. Man, I'm ready for the season. Coach, to kind of piggyback what you were saying, you know, here at Alcorn, you know, when it comes to the offensive side of the ball, you know, we've been we're patiently waiting, we're patiently waiting for just a breakout. Um can you explain to the armchair quarterbacks, as I like to call them, the whole process of like calling the play? So you on the field, like what are you looking at, you know, and what do you want to accomplish with your certain play calls? Well, so here, let me start off with a common misconception. All right, common misconception is every play is supposed to score a touchdown. Right. All right. That's not that's not how this thing works. Okay. Um, 
lots of times you have to what we call sacrifice plays to set the table for something else. Yes, sir. All right. So, you know, and it's like my wife. My wife does this all the time. Why is why is he running in there? Why he ain't running around there where it ain't nobody at? Well, why is he running in there with all those people? Well, the, the play plays are specifically designed to do certain things. Um, and we have certain people in place uh, to occupy certain spaces. All right. And as as a coordinator, you're looking to see if anybody's out of place on defense. All right. And you put people in places so that you can try to take advantage of those that are out of place. And that's how you that's how you score the points. Um, you, you set the table, you get you start one fire over here. Get them feeling good about putting out that fire, start another fire over here, and then next thing you know, it's too many fires. You don't forgot about the first fire. It, you thought you smoldered it out, but it done blazed back up. You know, so that's 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 how we approach it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get you looking around and then we're gonna we're gonna sneak one on you often. Yes, sound yes, like sir. you got some sound like you got some eye candy brewing, coach. <laughs> yes, that was my next question. Uh, look, looking at all the time, have you decided what type of offense you're going to be running? Just the style of the offense? Well, we're going to be spread up tempo, no huddle. Um, you know that's what the box storm is. That that's what we're going to do. However, we will ut- will utilize uh, specific skill sets of individuals that are already on the team uh, to help facilitate that. And uh, you know we we've got a lot of talented individuals, um, but right now. We're just trying to, we're still evaluating and filling guys out. Um, at by the end of the spring, I'll know, uh, I'll know what we what we have to work with. And and you know, we're probably we're only on practice five. We just got done with practice five. Uh, but we're probably on on install four. All right. So we're we're st- we still got some installing to do. So there's still a meat of the offense that's still out there. And these guys are are steady learning and we're feeding it to them and they're grasping concepts um but it's a learning curve like anything new you know it's a learning curve and you just gotta kind of feel your way through it and then put the best product out there possible well i want to commend you already because i saw more formations offensively in two hours than i did in three years (laughs) 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 you gotta keep it real bro (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all it was good to see y'all out there. Yeah. Man, it was fun, man. We enjoyed it, man. Bro, that we atmosphere is amazing, man. It's amazing um, to 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 even witness what we're witnessing now. Uh, I, I think we're gonna get plenty of commitments from different recruits just because of practice. That's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be well, crazy. Yeah. You know, and and, and too, it, it's 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 having a passion for, for going out and getting guys. Yeah. You know, um, right now for me, it's like, I'm the new kid on the block. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out, uh, how to sell all corn, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? How, how to sell all corn. I, you know, I can sell me, that's not a problem, but we want these kids to be committed to the institution. All right. And, and committed to the process and committed to the culture. Right. You know, and so that that's kind of how you have to approach it in this recruiting thing, because you can go get with the transfer portal is crazy now. Mm-hmm. All right. If you get a kid, uh, you get a kid committed to you and then you no longer here. What happens to that kid? He going with you. Well, either that or he going somewhere else. Right. You know? <laughs> um. So you got to You got to you got to sell the institution and, you know, you got to let these young men know that that the, a degree from Alcorn is is just as good as a degree from anywhere else in the country. And, and they got to understand that. And they got to understand also that it's about going to school and going to class because this football stuff is going to be over in a short minute. Coach, uh, I'm, I'm sure you checked out some of our games last year. What can the fans look for different in the offense from some of the things we did last year? Are there any changes or what can we look for different? Well, it, there, there's going to be – there's going to be – differences um you know i i'm i'm here not to mess up uh the culture that's already been established uh i'm just going to add to uh add to it put my my flavor on it my spin you can you can bet that you're going to see multiple formations you're going to see uh a little bit more uh mm-hmm. i don't want to say pass heavy but uh more more throwing attempts 
you know, uh, than customarily, right, in the past. I, I, you know, I've, I've watched a, a lot of games uh, from here on the reservation, and I just – I know that there have been so many talented running backs, uh, so many talented quarterbacks who uh, really made a living running around the yard and, and, and dishing it to people uh, at, at certain times. Well, we're going to try to dial up uh, – some intentional throws, so to speak. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to get it to the guy that's open uh and put the ball in space and get it to our explosive players and and let them make their money. You know, it's it's gonna be about uh getting the ball in space. Uh we're still gonna run the ball because I believe you gotta run the ball to win championships. All right, like we we have in the past. I'm saying we because I'm here now. Right. Yeah, sure. you want us we because yes, I'm sir. here now. You know, I, I remember I remember watching those, uh, you know, those those appearances in the Celebration Bowl, them SWAC championships. Like I, I remember all of that stuff. So uh, I understand, uh, just like everybody else, that you got to win the ball, you got to run the ball to win championships. However, you got to be able to make them pay, all right, by throwing the ball. That is true. That's true. Especially when those folks want to get in the box. And yeah, I, like yeah, you, box man. Yeah. That was <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it makes no Fox sense. Coach. To, to, coach Taylor, Coach Wayne head on here, man. What's up, Coach? <laughs> hey, but look, I, I, man, I'm enjoying it. Um, and I, I'm, I'm pleased this punch that y'all had me on tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Had I, it. So I look. I, I know I said something out there at, at the. Uh, at, <laughs> I was going to break that up on the practice, but look. Y'all hustling backwards. Y'all know that, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, I ain't yeah, no you buck and all that. Yeah, no, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, here we go. I, I, look, after it's all said and done, y'all gonna y'all gonna find me a y'all gonna find my group of songs. Yeah, that's what we gonna do. We got, we got, we gotta find y'all some. For y'all that don't know, Coach got on us. Coach say, "Why I ain't been on the show yet? You had my office line, Coach. On there. He got you on that. had me on there yet?" So yeah, I say, "Coach, man. next week, Coach, you the next one. You next one coming up. You next one." I felt, I felt some kind of way about that. Hey, look, Coach. You know what I'm saying? No, cause look, look, look at the order of operation. You had the head coach, then you had the uh, the O line coach. <laughs> you just jump right over the OC like 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 I wasn't even on the yard yet. <laughs> right, I and, I, and I know I know True listening to me right now. He said, "Oh, Gail's hating." <laughs> <laughs> hey, coach, coach, say we had Otis, but we didn't call David Ruffin, man. What kind yeah. of <laughs> coach? Go, when I come out down to nineteen, I'm gonna bring you some. Jacob, we hey. I got I got a present for you. I'm gonna bring you some. I got some for you. Yeah, man. I, I yeah. I'm excited though. I'm excited uh -huh. because hey, I'm gonna just tell you, um, you know the vibe, the vibe is out of control. You know, most definitely, it, it's from every everybody from, you know, we went we wouldn't had uh, we had lunch at at this little spot and I, forgive me because I, I can't remember the name of the spot that we went to um it was a little little spot in pg uh i, I can't i can't even remember but even from little old hole in the wall spots that everybody is all all corn mm -hmm. you know um we i'm look i if i want any privacy i can't wear this hey <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you been not. <laughs> I can't. I can't wear this. Say if I if I it, look if I don't feel like talking on a certain day, I can't put this on. <laughs> Cause we coming to you. <laughs> hey, I, and you know what? So, and that is refreshing. I'm gonna just tell you, it's refreshing because uh, you know that that the fanfare, uh, the pageantry, uh, the care. Uh, the gas, right? Everybody's yeah. got gas. Yes. Everybody's got gas from, you know, from Louisiana to all the way down. Yeah. Up, all the way up. So that that's exciting. Uh, that's exciting to me. And I couldn't be around, you know, I'm. it's a great group of guys I'm around, you know. 
Uh, obviously, being at Pine Bluff, you know, I, I already knew uh, Coach Rowe. Um, you know, th those guys are outstanding. And then coming in, uh, meeting DT and Coach Cub and Booze and, you know, it really it is really a, a family-oriented, close-knit atmosphere. And that sounds cliche, all right? It sounds cliche, but it's not. It's the truth. It's the truth, yeah. you know? Um, I want to uh, kind of get into uh, some of the personnel, Coach, since uh, we've had a couple practices. And you, uh, also, for y'all that don't know, he's also our quarterback coach. So let's start there. Talk to us about that quarterback room and what we have coming back and what you think about the quarterback room. Okay, we've got uh, we've got Tyler make uh, Tyler making uh, coming back. Uh, you know he was injured most of the year last year. Uh, very talented young man. Um, you know right now he he's the leader in the room, so to speak, as far as uh, the amount of reps and everything that he's getting. Uh, but there is an open competition uh, in that room, so he's competing. Uh, our mantra is like we ain't going we're going to evaluate everybody and we're going to put the best 11 guys out there. Uh, so just because you, you may be running with the ones right now doesn't mean that you're going to be running with the ones when it's all said and done. You have to compete every day uh, in order to solidify yourself. And by, I'm saying that to say this, there's a young man that's that's in the room right next to him in, in a Trey Lawrence, who's also got game time reps. Uh, for Alcorn and, and started a couple games. So there's going to be quite the battle there. Um, and then uh, young Hot Rod, uh, who, who would be the next gentleman in line, I believe he was a freshman last year. Uh, he's doing some good things. I'm really excited uh, uh, to see his his mature uh, maturation and, and progression. Uh, and then you got Chris Martin, who we just signed who, you know, should be getting ready for prom right now. But instead, he's, he's you know, on the yard trying to uh, compete for a job. So with, with those four young men uh, in the fold, you know, if, if, if we can develop and, and find that one who can, who can take us to the ship, then that's who it's going to be. But until then, we're, gonna, we're not going to name anybody. We're going we're gonna to keep competing, and we're going to see uh, who's the cream that rises to the top. Love it, Coach. Love it. All right. Pick it back off, G, since we're talking about the quarterbacks and you brought up uh, Coach True, man. Let, let's talk about that. the big boys up front, man. All what right. So, so uh, it, it, it's been pleasant. Um, I already know what kind of what kind of human being True is, and I know uh, that he's, he's got these guys uh, in, in a certain space. Um, to play O line, you gotta really be in a good headspace. Uh, you gotta you gotta be uh, you gotta be half crazy, but you gotta be you know a half brainiac as well. Okay, uh, they probably got the hardest position on the football field. There that it requires five guys to work together at all times. All right, if you can't have five guys working together at all times, then you know you're not gonna get very much accomplished. And right now, what I'm seeing out of out of true. And in, in that room is he's got some guys that are battling and competing. The aura has been great. Those young men are, 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 they're putting their best foot forward. Now it's like a roller coaster. You know, I love, I love amusement parks. All right. So you're going to have some ups and some downs, all right? You're going to go up and you go down, but retention is the, is what we're trying to get to. If we can uh, achieve some consistency, then we're going to be a really good football team. Uh, really good offense. Uh, I think that the way it's headed right now, there are some guys that are are pushing, uh, pushing their way to try to make a case to to be uh, one of the first five. But again, just just like the quarterback room, we we're still evaluating. We're going to continue to evaluate all the way through uh, up until you know we line up against UAB. So you know they they got a lot of a lot of work to do. But I'm going to tell you. Uh, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen some of the some of the in types of individuals that 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 we employ. All right, Big Jack is a monster. <laughs> monster. Okay, Big Jack is a monster. Um, you got a young man by Raul Aguilar who uh, he yeah. he was on the he was on the team last year, but he didn't he didn't get much accomplished due to you know class schedules and, and those things. Uh, those those two guys are massive human beings. Man. Okay. 
And then you got, uh, you know, you got Ronald uh, Brown, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. uh, he, you know, he's holding his weight. Uh, you got you got five guys um, on that first that's running with the first group right now that are that are they're working. And then you got five more guys coming up behind them um, to try to make their case to be in that first five. And that's what you need. If you're going to yeah. get better, that's what you need. You need guys that are hungry. Uh, Big Renee Miller uh, has been having a solid, uh, solid spring so far. Um, we just got to keep grinding. We just got to keep grinding. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let's get to Coach Booze. Let's get to that running back room. Let's talk about that. Oh, man. Look, Sewell is my guy. All right. <laughs> I like what I see out of the young man, but, you know, it's an unfinished product. It's an unfinished product. He played behind two good ones last year. You know, two good ones. And uh, I think that, um, you know, by the time it's all said and done, he's going he's gonna to make a great case. You know, uh, but you're not going to hear me. I'm not going to sit here and say uh, that we have any starters because we don't. Right. We don't. OK. Uh, young man, BJ is behind him uh, pushing, pushing Sewell to the to the max. OK. And then we got a, a, a few more young pups uh, who, are, who, are, who are coming up through this thing, uh, taking their lumps right now, making the mistakes. But it's to be expected. That's what we want. We want guys who aren't scared to get in there and, and bang their head against the wall um, and, and get corrected. OK, that, where you stall out is you got a bunch of guys who, you know, don't want to don't want to take the coaching. All right. And th that's not what we got going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, well, the most exciting uh, thing, I, I ain't going to say exciting, but surprisingly, man, that wide receiver room at practice. Uh, just to see, uh, I'm, I ain't gonna say that, but talk about the wide receiver. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, I think the, the biggest, longest body out there is, is Mr. Warren. Um, you. he, he, he is a, uh, his ceiling is so high. Uh, he's got, you know, he's got a really good outlook. I think that He's he's capable of making big plays in the swag. Uh, there's not a question about it. Um, I just think that you know if, if we gotta we gotta slow it down a little bit still um, because this is all this is all different. Um, you know, for all of those guys, all of those receivers, and yeah. uh, you know, pleasantly, um, we've seen uh, Caleb Anderson. I know we signed him as a tight end, but we've seen him playing outside a little bit, uh, and you know. We got Truck doing his thing. You know, he's been playing inside, outside. He lined up at running back today. Like, he's doing some things, and I kind of count him in the wide receiver room right now. Um, <laughs> so, you know, those guys are, are – are, uh, Damian Jones, you know, he's he's been a pleasant surprise. Uh, but, again, we've got to keep grinding. We're really young in that room, okay, really young in that room, and it, it's going to take a 1,000 hours of work. Uh, to get those guys where we need to be, and and you know they they are all looking over their shoulder right now, as it should be though. Mm -hmm. You know they're all looking over their shoulder right now, but right now we're also working on trying to get these guys to settle in and and have have it slow down for them and 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 get comfortable. Once they get comfortable and, and stop thinking so much, uh, they're they're going to be able to play a lot faster. Uh, but I'm I'm excited. I'm pleasantly surprised about what I'm seeing out of, out of every position group. Yes, sir. Yeah, and I'm excited to see eight inside. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> you, you're excited to see who? Number eight. Oh, oh T. Inside, Adams. Man. Yes, sir. T. Look, man. <laughs> I I didn't I didn't forget about T. Okay. T is he's T is T. <laughs> we call him Mr. Johnny on the spot. He's always going to be where he's supposed to be doing what he's doing. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's caught a lot of balls so far this spring. So we're going to, uh, we're just going to leave it at that. I'm trying not to, you know, cause y'all know we, uh, we, we got some, some, some people from down the street uh, listening to this. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to give them too much. Yeah. yeah. I'll give them too much. Coach. <laughs> Tell us about some of our leaders so far in the um, spring on all. There's some of your leaders you've been depending on. Truck Griffin. Chuck Griffin is he's he's 
he's been a leader of men this this spring so far. Um, you know, he he's he's leading by example. All right, and he's he's being the he's being the voice right now. Those guys in in the offensive room, uh, or in the offensive unit, uh, you know, both verbally and non-verbally, uh, he's doing that. And then we've got a bunch of guys who are trying to navigate their their way uh, through. And, and I'm gonna tell you this, big, big, big Jack the Reaper, yeah. <laughs> big Jack. The Reaper. Yeah. Hey, we, we, Truth be told, he's being the leader in that O line room. All right, uh, despite what 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 you know or what you heard about that <laughs> young man, I'm a fan. Yeah. yeah, I'm a fan, and so you know he's uh, he's been he's been a pleasant surprise as far as leading that group. Uh, you know he he hasn't been um, he hasn't been negative at all. Uh, he's been a positive force, and I think he's pulling those guys along. Uh, you know, to where we need him to be uh, by example, you know, and because I know he missed some games and stuff last year. Um, mm -hmm. But I think right now with the way he's headed, uh, he's going to, he's going to have an all conference season. Not, I'm, hey, I'm knocking on this wood right here. Right, right, right. That'd be something. <laughs> right, right. You had to say, had to, what would be our strength offensively if you had to say? Give us I'm sorry. What would be our strength offensively if you had to give us a strength? Our strength? Yeah, strength, yeah, offensively. Uh, I still think – I think our strength is going to be the offensive front. Okay, everything starts in the trenches. Okay, can't nobody do nothing without them dudes. All right, and that's kind of how you got to design it. And if, if that's not the strength, then we got to make it the strength. Yeah. And that, that's the truth. That's the truth. You know, so I could, I could sit here and say, oh, yeah – the quarterback's really good. He's made some really good plays, but he ain't making plays by himself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, so truly, anytime I get that question, it's got to be the offensive front. Right now, uh, you know, we're going to go as the O-line goes, and that's, that's the guy's honest truth. All right. Uh, we've had, you know, some good practices, some good team sessions, and got some good reps. Um, and those guys are, are, are really, uh, they're handling the learning curve. So when we and we're putting a lot on them, so I, I'm I'm really impressed with those guys. Um, but that's that's not saying that everybody every other uh, component of the offense is not good. Yeah. I just believe wholeheartedly that in order for us to be successful, it's going to have to be with those guys. And I would feel comfortable um, with with the guy. if we had to start tomorrow. Uh, I think we can get the five that's running with that first group where where they need to be in order for us to compete. Agree. Okay. I agree. So, so coach, do um we plan on adding any more Jimmys and Joes? Do we plan on adding any more Jimmys and Joes? <laughs> Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. There, hey, look, there's no room for complacency. Okay. I feel really good about all these young men. All right. Yes, but sir. At the same time. College football games are won in the trenches and with depth. Yes, sir. Okay. In the trenches and with depth. And we're still building the depth piece right now. And, you know, uh, remember, signing day is just a day. College football are really dealing with signing periods. Yeah. Okay. All right. Signing period ain't over, over till April 1st, I think. And then I've I've got some of my best football players in July. Wow! Yeah, gotcha. We got a uh, question in the chat, coach. Say, coach, will the will the quarterback have the freedom to change the play at the offensive line at at the line of scrimmage if he doesn't like how it looks? You get that kind of freedom, or has he? So him? there, he'll have some freedoms. Okay, he'll have some freedoms, but. Uh, there's only certain plays that we can get in and out of that I will allow him to do so. Yes. But he will have certain freedoms. Yeah. Got another question. They want to know about the upcoming schedule. How you feel about just the upcoming schedule this year? Well, I'm, you know, I'm a road warrior, so we're gonna we're gonna go handle all these all these uh, business trips on the road, and then mm -hmm. hold hold uh, hold serve at home. Uh, that's how I feel about it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna line them up and play how they come. You know, I, 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 
I don't care about home or away. I like to be at home uh, because I heard the atmosphere here is out of control, um, <laughs> and, and I can't wait. Um, but we got we to gotta play on Saturday. We're going we gonna to line up. I don't care if it's in the parking lot out here in front of the, in front of the gym. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, Coach. Uh, do you, do you kind of uh, – <laughs> is that a question I got? Um, do you do you play to win or you play to not to lose? <laughs> I know what it's going with this. <laughs> oh, man. This is my I, I, so I don't know. I don't know where this is coming from. <laughs> All right. But we'll, tell you off, we'll tell you offline. Look, I'm playing to win. Okay, hey, you can't, so I'm a firm believer at you can't you can't win if you're scared. Right. Yeah. I'm playing to win. I'm 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 aggressive with it. That shows I'm aggressive with it. And, and look, <laughs> y'all tripping. I'm playing to win. We we trying to get the ball in the box. You're gonna hear me say it all the time, get in the box. All right. And at the end of the day, my goal is to get one more point than the other team. Hey, coach had to remember he was on a fabulous show right there. <laughs> <laughs> Something was about to come out. Uh, I got another question from the chat. Is there anybody on the schedule you have circled that you want to beat? Or man, look, I got them all circled. <laughs> okay. I got them all circled. You I mean I'm not, you know, I'm not uh underestimating anybody, uh any one opponent. Uh we're gonna go out here, man. I'm trying to win them all. I'm trying to win them all. Okay. I ain't we ain't, you know, the our goal is to get these young men, all right, to go out. And realize that it don't matter we playing UAB, Vanderbilt, or Gramlin. It don't matter. It's like uh, you know they put their pants on the same way, right? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody y'all know anybody that's gonna jump in their pants two legs at a time? <laughs> no, we ain't doing that. So we gonna go out. We gonna put our pants, our shoes on, and we gonna go out and we gonna line it up and play football. Um, so. I'm trying to win them all, and it it, it ain't – we ain't backing down. We're going to play the schedule. Got one more question. Uh, he asked, PZ asked, will, will you hold back play calling during the out-of-conference games? <laughs> Thank God. Damn. All right, so, so let me uh, let me double back. You you know them arrows that you point to see, see the above question? Yeah. I just said I'm trying to win them all. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm trying to I'm trying to win them all. All right. So the the whole purpose of of coordinating an offense is you know to have uh, uh, you know play series based football. Like when you try to hold back, it's because you you running you running plays. You just running plays like. Mm -hmm. put your offense out there and make adjustments like because i like the, the, what i do week one is going to be totally different in week six you know so hold back preach uh, there, there may be some things that i i, I don't want to show but that don't mean i'm holding back like i'm gonna put the offense preach. out there and we're gonna play football and we're gonna try to score points mm -hmm. Hell, if i gotta dig down deep into my bag of tricks you know, that's what I'm gonna do because I'm trying to win them all. Yes, sir. Coach, I almost caught the Holy Ghost seeing you talk about that boy. Because man, oh, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm now telling look, you. look, hey, he's been quiet. I, all, and I, all, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm just telling you, I'm trying. I'm trying to win them all. <laughs> so, so, so you, you tell me, I'm gonna hear no waste management. <laughs> Uh, nah, nah, that's that's my brother. That's my brother. That he ain't get no waste management. He ain't, I ain't get no waste management. Hey, listen, listen to it. Listen, I'm gonna just tell y'all this. Don't ask me no question. I'm not good at at being politically correct. <laughs> don't don't ask me no questions you don't want to know the answer to. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to figure I, it out, but y'all y'all bait me in to mess it up. I, I, man, don't don't tell our fans they that because they show that. Oh yeah, you're gonna get the question, Coach. Listen, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. Listen, oh, the question you might get, you probably gave the answer a hundred times, but that's just our fan. It's so passionate. You. They just want to hear I it over you. and over again. So, Coach, I was reading. Going, but so it, it's it's all in the fun, you know, and uh so in a in a in a different setting, a different like it, it, this interview could happen so differently with somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I, I just feel like I'm at home and and I, I'm I'm supposed to chop it up with you, right? Straight yeah. up. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was. Hey, I saw another coach, and um, somebody wanted to know how does it feel going up against that crackhead D at practice every day? Iron sharpens iron. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. See so y'all, y'all trying to bait me up again. <laughs> <laughs> y'all try to bait me up again so, so it's been it's, it's so much excitement around the offense coach that ain't that ain't been the case all the time i ain't gonna lie you don't, you don't understand coach you just don't exactly. understand. No. You, no he probably understand he probably realize how yeah, look, look. Look. uh-oh uh-oh oh uh-uh. uh, okay <laughs> Now we doing. Now we doing DT. Uh oh. Uh, hey, look, I, I love, I love the uh, competition y'all y'all have going on, man. It's so yeah. fun out there, just having fun, going up against each other, uh, man. It, it's fun to see and fun to watch. Yeah, it's it's fun, bro. They need to come to the practice, man. I've never. Listen, been, like, it was, I it was missing, so man. it was so funny. Yeah. When, when the when the when the teams was flexing over there and stretching the defense bickering with the offense, coach just looked like they know what's up. They don't want none. And I, I just messed up the last. He was so cool to come. Man, they don't want none. Look, like, so, I mean, we know we know what time it is. I wouldn't be here if if, if we didn't know what time it was. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. Coach Thomas ain't Coach Thomas ain't hiring me if he, if 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 we ain't know what time it was. Right, coach ain't playing. It's, it's, ain't playing. Uh, it's and and it's truly iron sharpens iron. So yeah. you know, defense uh, today, defense got after us pretty good. Got after us pretty good, but there were some there were some splashes in there to where okay, all right, we saw that's new. All right, that's a little different. All right, um, but if you if you go in that other meeting room over there, they're saying the same thing. Right. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So uh at the end of the day, man, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to beat all corn. I ain't trying to beat the Braves. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not right. trying to beat those guys. I'm I'm trying to put the best product out there so that when we fence hit the field, it's yeah. on and cracking. We fence. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Woo. Woo. 70 man, plus. We just happy to have you, my man. I mean, he, he, yeah, he's excited, man. This, 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 been, excited. this been the most buzz we've had around the team in the offense for a long time. Like I say, everybody asked about the offense. Everybody want to know about the offense. The man, offense man. line in the offense. The offense, no, that's what they want to know. So, uh, uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Well, I'm ready to do it. Y'all seen? Y'all saw the schedule, the spring schedule. You know, we got, uh, you know, obviously we're on spring break now. Uh, well, starting tomorrow, uh, mm-hmm. but that next Saturday after we get back is a scrimmage, and then the following Thursday, and then we we ended up with with the spring game on the sixth. Uh, plenty of opportunities to come out and check us out. You know, uh, it's all open. Hey, it's I'm, all I'm open. bring I'm bringing a DJ to the first scrimmage, coach. So you got to let me know what song you want. Oh, you bringing a DJ? I'm bringing a DJ for real. Okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's already it. set up, man. On the 23rd, right? Yep. It's already 23rd. done. Dang, I ain't even be able to go, man. Dang, man. I'm just going to have to pitch spring game, bro. Oh, yeah. Dang, man. That, look, that's you just keep missing. Dang. <laughs> Dang. You keep missing. You man, keep it needs to work or other, other stuff, man. I, I should have came to the one last week. That was probably going to be the only one I could make, but I overslept Madden, man. I played Madden at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> man, you, you, you sound like you sound like one of the players or something, man. 
I know, bro. I know, man. I know. That's, that's the excuse I get. But you know, like when a kid challenge you, say they can beat you in Madden. I mean, I, I got active. So I beat them 8 12 one game, 63-0 one game. You know what I'm saying? I felt like you, coach. Oh. I was drawing up all types of formations. It's a score. Oh, look. With, hey, since you since you beating up on them like that, man, you need uh -oh. to pick on somebody on your own side. Hey, man. Uh -oh. hey, uh -oh. game, sad, coach. We can go. Uh -oh. somebody. Hey, look, I ain't got time for you right now, but wait, wait, give me give me some time this summer when, when I'm sitting Baby. here and ain't nobody on the yard. Let's yeah. do it. Uh oh. Let's do it. I'm, hey, I gotta coach, show you something. Hey, I then the new college sport. football game coming out. I got you. Man, y'all all right with me. <laughs> coach, talk hey, about uh, the importance of the uh, NIL. Give a big um I just want to give a big shout out to the 1871 collective. Talk about how um, important that is to have the 1871 collective. Oh man, you know, um, I, I think it's it's very important uh, for these young men, you know, to to be able to to meet the standard of, of certain requirements and, and be able to to take advantage of, you know, of that um, for, for these young individuals uh, to be able to to get, you know, to be able to receive compensation for uh their situation is huge. And then, you know, from a recruiting standpoint, uh, from a, a, it is a huge benefit. You know, I'm just going to say that uh, because lots of places don't have that opportunity. And, and for individuals to, if you have a really good player on your squad who is worth something and you can't give it to him, then that opens the door for him to go to somewhere that can give it to him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, and that that is a huge disadvantage when you don't have that. So shout out to the 1871 Collective for putting that, for having that that resource in place for these young men um, to be able to, to be compensated for uh, their hard work uh, in, the, in the classroom and on the football field. Because I know uh, 1871 Collective is not just like they ain't just dishing out things to people who don't deserve it. Right. Um, you know, I, I think that the current setup of the collective and, and the athletes that that y'all have in place are, 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 are outstanding. You know, so it's going to be one of them situations to where where it, it's going to benefit even more if it can grow. You know, so I'm whatever I can do uh, to help the situation. Let me know, because uh, I want to see it grow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got that close. Uh, any new recruits we should be excited about that we may not know? No, I, I uh-uh. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Ain't too no much, new Joe. recruit. Too much, we, ain't got, we ain't got nobody. Yeah, too much, Joe. <laughs> we, we, we ain't got nobody. I, I'm not, uh-uh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Coach say y'all ain't going to back him in, though, Coach. Uh, no way. No, sir. Read Bob. <laughs> yeah, coach, coach, don't don't be like G. I'll tell you that story later. Oh yeah, don't be like G. <laughs> G was almost kicked out the fan base for you. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I almost I, I'm gonna tell him, coach. I'm, I'm gonna tell him the story, coach. So, you know, I, you know, I, um, I go I go to one of the practices, coach, a couple years ago, about three, four years ago, coach. I go to one of the practices, coach. We had a kid, we had a kid. I ain't gonna say his name, but we had a kid. He just out there dominating. And I, me, I lose my mind, coach. I go straight to Facebook, and I'm just like, "We got one. We got. I got two words, and I, we we got us one." So, <laughs> season coming around, coach. <laughs> me, I think me and him had the same. Me and him had the same amount of stats, coach. Me and him. Oh wow! <laughs> and so you know, I, I, I still gotta hear about that one, coach. I still gotta hear about that one. So I, I'm with you. I still gotta hear about that one. Coach. Yeah, that was Man. nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that that's that's tough right there. <laughs> I, said, I opened my big mouth. He'll never live that down. Right right. Yeah, that, that was gonna stick with me, cuz. Yeah. Hey, I yeah, saw somebody ask. Coming out, bro. Go ahead, Trey. Before you leave, G, I saw somebody ask, uh, who was the fastest guy on your offense right now? Mm. So, somebody said that uh, bad thing. So, yeah, that's not that's not one I really want to get into. 
<laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Here, here's that's a loaded question, man. Yeah, right. for real. So because because there's a handful of guys that think they're the fastest. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so I could say one name, and then I'm gonna get five or six hey, phone calls in a whole minute. As soon as I as soon as I get off with y'all, I'll be like, Coach, what? You know I'm faster than him. You know. <laughs> so I'm. You know I'm gonna I plead the fifth right now. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Well, you know, uh, anytime you want to come on, you're welcome, Coach. Anytime you got something to say, any anytime, Coach, you're welcome to come on. So we just want to. Hey, uh, you know what? Y'all gonna y'all gonna have to keep me off of here now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta open door, Coach. Yeah, oh, anytime day. you want to come. Hey, I don't care what day it is, Coach. Uh, whenever. If you want to come on, anything you want to get get out to the to the to the fan base, let us know. Anything we can do for you, Coach, we, we down to do it. All right. I'm hey, listen, I appreciate y'all for having me on here. And um I'm gonna I'm gonna step in here and watch this valley game. Y'all y'all got okay. anything for me? Hey, hashtag uh, BSO. BSO, you gonna push it, B T uh T T B S O. T B S O T B S O, gotcha. T B S O the box on offering. TBSO to put up 70 points at least one time this year for me. <laughs> I ain't Play, seen bro, that no. 50 in the Challenge you, coach. 45, coach. 45. All right, so. <laughs> just about to go. <laughs> okay. See <see> previous statement. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, uh, look, you see that statement above my head? What? I, what? <laughs> Look, I just want I, I I appreciate your enthusiasm. I like what you got going on and and, and your high praise, but I'm only trying to get one more point than the other team every week. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with up, you, I, I can't tell you how many it's gonna be. It's just gonna be more than them. There you go. <laughs> and, and, and it is that that's all we want, No, we won't. Look, look, cause uh, you know, you can't you can't you can't put that put that into the atmosphere, you know what I mean? Right. Because you just, you just, that, that means you're underestimating somebody and you got to respect your opponents, man. All of them. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't matter what division, what level, you got to respect them and understand that, shoot, you got to come with your A game 11 times between August and December. Yeah. Well, 12 with the, with the celebration boat. So, Hey. Yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, we got we got a basketball game going on, so we gonna uh, go, go go check them out, coach. And you know, if, if you got to get on get on the first, coach. Well, ain't nothing right. done. So if you got to go down there and get on, coach, you you, you got to go get on, coach. All right, <laughs> that, yeah, they right here in the other room. I'm at the office, so okay. I just gotta walk out the door, walk in the gym. I'm good. Got you, coach. Well, we appreciate yeah, you coming sure. on, coach. All right, appreciate, appreciate you guys for having appreciate me. We'll, we'll talk to y'all soon. Got yes, sir. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's our guy. Uh, hey, I don't, know, I don't oh. know if he's still on here, but this this EA dude talking about uh, all core and Dodger fam, you, hey, bro, I saw you. This ain't that type of show, though. Just watch yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he said what? We yeah, Dodger yeah. fam. I, I saw that coming, too. Yeah, yeah, I saw look, that it, coming, it, too. It, it almost yeah, I got my coach on here. He know he he know yeah. one thing. I, he, he know one thing. I I, I, I took care. Ain't nobody but, uh, dodging. Wait, what was that, bro? We dodging them. Mm -hmm. We Man, dodging them. One championship, and they they, they just. I. We go. We go. Hey, I saw a comment that said, "I'm an armchair quarterback too." Of course I am. I didn't say I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't say yeah, I would. Uh, basketball game going on right now. We won't hold it too long. But before we go. The hope, hope, now hope. You ain't gonna be that. You ain't gonna be able to answer this because you're busy. I'm, to go eat, bro. I'm hungry anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Uh, we made it to practice, so uh, before we go, I want to give our recap of the practice. What we saw, what we thought. Um, a standout player or two from everybody from practice from um, this past Saturday when we went to practice. What you got, Trill? Uh, I got the uh. Ooh, we man. Uh, what you like? It ain't gotta be a player. Anything. Just, just. Y'all look well. I'm, I'm I'm gonna give you a player. Uh, okay. what's the, Thor Jalen Thor? Whatever his oh, name yeah, yeah, is, okay. the freshman, yeah, yeah, thrower. 
Jalen Thoreau. That's all I'm gonna say. You different. And then uh the competition aspect between the O line and D line. It was intense, man. It was intense. And now I will say, uh secondary man, oh, oh my God. So it's it's a lot of bright spots, man. But overall, just the competition and the um man, just the overall demeanor of practice and the competition between the coaches, which leads to the competing between the players. It, it was dope. It was dope. What you got, Benny? Man, mine was the, uh, I guess you could say because of the receiver group was so young, I, I was highly impressed with those guys. I mean, we did have some drop balls, but number 82, he yeah. looked like a two from recent yeah. days of Alcorn. Uh, I, I just want to walk on. Yeah, yeah, watch out for this guy, man. Number 82, he's coming. <laughs> He won't be a walk on for long, man. If you keep yeah, it up. he would not be a walk on for long. So, hey, I just want to tell y'all to watch out for eighty two Spiller and Pringle. If you hear me, <laughs> watch out for eighty two. <laughs> There's some muscles in the eight two, huh? <laughs> I was over. I was overall pretty, like you said, true. Just the atmosphere, man. A big play happened. He go coach T sprinting down the sideline to celebrate with the team. You know, it's just kind of atmosphere, just welcoming. You know, it was, it was some. It was some fans. Sitting back, coach. I know y'all come up close and watch went, practice. Went got him. Like, yes, come up close and watch practice, man. He he wants us out there. He wants us there. He wants us there supporting. Um, so just the, the energy and practice is amazing, man. I'm loving it. I got my guy. Y'all know I'm excited. Um, but if I'm talking about a player, um, I like I like Malik Franklin, the cornerback we got um, from JUCO. Um, Trent, he he looked really really good, and I like um Raul right. Aguilar on the offensive of line. He yes, was another sir. kid from Arizona that was a walk on and having a really good spring. So. Uh, those two, those two players, they're just early kids that I thought. Well, oh look, I, I, I know you brought up Malik, but I gotta bring up Zelly too, man. Oh yeah, Zelly, yeah, Zelly looked nice too. Zelly was Steven. everywhere. Yeah, I, I I just like the energy of practice, man. It was a great practice. I ain't even got no particular play. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you must be talking about the videos you watch. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that. Shut up. Shout out to the Coming Man podcast because they got some nice um, videos out there. Yes, um, one, one of my one of my favorite moments was you know we had a kid on the sideline, right? So I'm gonna tell you the story. We're gonna get out of here. Man, they, they had a kid on the sideline. Um, I think it was it Skelly? And, uh, we had a kid on the sideline taunting the quarterback. He taunting. Oh, you you know all in fun. You know all in fun. Until you know, the other one came back in. Yeah, he, he <laughs> threw a big play and he, he went back at him. We just some fun times at practice. So uh, you, you talk about. Yeah, he put the boy. So go watch. Go if you watch the Coming Man podcast. They put out a video and it is on the video, man. It, just, man, it Coach was a great T, overall day. Coach T, run up, man. That was so funny, man. Yeah. I, I love that the kids having fun though, man. The kids are excited, having fun, love to be out there. So overall, man, um, and that's just the third day, so it's not. It's not you know what I'm saying that was the third day that we saw, it, so it's not. It's not. It's. Not, it, I'm not in no form or shape saying it's a finished product, but you know I like the atmosphere going on right now. G is Omari and Blake's healthy. He's practicing, yes. Yeah. I've he, never seen a, a punter as hype as our punter was at practice. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was fun, but it was fun. It was real fun. I can't wait to get back out there. Just take a day and go out there and enjoy it, man. Yeah. Bring your lawn chairs or whatever. Yeah. Just you know we got a beautiful scenery. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to fake sick one of these days and get out there. But you got you to gotta be able to get up, dog. Oh, your pride is. Oh wrong. my God, no! Look, we gotta get off here. We losing the valley at halftime. What's going on, dog? Oh, it's time to go. Hey, we we going. Uh, uh, how special team look? I mean, it, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but just from practice, look, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's very hard to tell by special team. Yeah, hey, I will say this too. Y'all know anything about me? Y'all know I love to fish. I had all my fishing equipment in my car. I was supposed to go fish at all, or did do it. Real ain't touch the water. I couldn't do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I had, had too much fun, dog. So, uh, man, if y'all ain't got nothing else, I gotta go watch see what these boys doing. Then you know, yeah, if anybody down by two the valley, right? Oh um, yeah, we are down the valley right know, now. So uh, I know the basketball team are acting like like us in the past years losing the game. We ain't supposed to. Hey man, chill out. <laughs> hey, on that note, I'm about to go. Big, big shout out to the basketball team though, because we have won seven in a row for y'all. Seven night. in a row, baby. We won seven in a row. We're the hottest hey. team going into the tournament. But you know we're struggling right now. But we're the hottest team going into the tournament. Hopefully we right that ship. I'm sure eight. Wes is screaming and hollering right now. Eight. It's gonna be eight. Yeah. yeah hey, yeah. didn't they say we weren't gonna make the tournament? Yeah, you know that's what they were saying. You know. Hey, speaking of that, uh, 
You know, you know we ain't gonna, you know we ain't gonna see him. You know we ain't gonna see no agents. Yeah, he ain't gonna pop out, bro. You know that. He, he, he been hiding from me. He gonna make one one thing on Facebook about Tamika and them winning, the, and that's it. Yeah, he been hiding from me. Hold up. Hey, what y'all think about my uh? What y'all think about my video, man? Listen, hey, I did this video did literally five minutes before I, I just do something. I mean, five you did a hell of a job, bro. Let, Let me see. Let me see, bro. Oh, we didn't see it. Oh, yeah, oh, we see. It. Yeah, it. This is just a rough round. They're gonna be open some videos and stuff in. I just threw some stuff together. Yeah, yeah. But y'all know me. Y'all know what I y'all know what I do best. Okay. And I just saw it coming. Okay. I just saw, and I gotta address it. Cause y'all know what I do best. EA. There he go. EA. No. You didn't saw a family you win one time in your lifetime. One. Once. You saw him win one time in your lifetime. You saw him win one, EA. One time. And, and two, we don't make the conference schedule. The conference makes the conference schedule. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody ducking a team that took won one championship. One. Ain't nobody ducking you. Hey, G. Didn't they have an imaginary Black National Championship too? Yeah, y'all oh, make up y'all Black <laughs> National Championship down there. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't, ain't we don't nobody ducking y'all, EA. Yeah, hey, we got y'all next year, though. We'll be there next year, 25, and it's going to be in Tallahassee. And we taking over. We taking it over, dog. We coming. I'll I be there that Thursday. We taking over. Yeah, bro, but if y'all had to address him right quick, I know, though, you know. I got oh, no. Nah, I'm going to do another show. I'm going to do another show next week, EA. You come on there talking like that, okay? Well, I got a little bit of, you know. But um, Y'all better thank Texas Southern. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, this make sure while y'all here, make sure y'all like the stream, share the stream, and all that good stuff. I should say there, but make sure y'all like the stream. Hey, G, did you put up the practice schedule? Ah, uh, let me do that. Let me do that. My bad. Let me do that, y'all. One second. Still have time, so we got a minute. Let me put up the practice schedule. Hey, uh, did you um, did y'all talk about we doing a live podcast? No, tell them about, about this. Tell them about, tell them about this. Tell them, tell them, preach. Come on. Uh, we're gonna Ooh, be doing really? some uh. Yeah, Trey, tell him. Yeah, look up the picture, Trey. Tell him. All hey. right, so listen, man. We uh, we've got permission to be doing live shows on campus, pre-game, post-game practices, and everything. So the Golden Helm review is going to another level, man. So y'all be on the lookout. We got some big things coming. Uh, y'all keep watching. The more we gonna keep doing. So hey, let's go. Shout out to my guys, man. Hey, hey, I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm the sentimental one, bro. But hey, this, this been doing this podcast has been taking off, man, and I couldn't work with a better group of people, bro. Like this hey. been fun. This is this is fun, bro. Speaking of that, man, before you say something, look, man, somebody stopped at my mama job to tell my mama to tell us that we love the show. So, uh, Chris Scott, man, uh, I don't know you, but huge shout out to you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, keep watching. So I had to give you a shout out, man, for, for shout out to, me, Chris, to man. my mama, man. Hey. So I appreciate that. that hey, that's 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 love, dog. That's hey, super. Like, that's Black love, said bro. leave the fire detector at the house when we do our live show. Ch Ch Charlie Spiller, we need you on the show. Oh, we gotta have Spiller on the show, bro. So at our live It would be no, let me tell y'all this. It wouldn't be no show without Charlie Spiller. I'm telling y'all right now. No, nah, nah, I, I had a show. I had a shirt called that said "Charlie Spiller, the Jaguar Killer." Walk around Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we listen, just had a conversation about that. So, so Nusi was at church with me last night. That he played. My pastor is from Scotlandville. He went to Southern. So Nusi had on the all-core shirt, and my uh, my boy Dantrell, who plays bass, 
my pastor was like, man, take that mess off. And then Trey was like, boy, you must don't know his name, Pastor. His name is Charlie Spiller, the Jaguar killer. And you should have saw the look on my pastor's face like, what? <laughs> so it's fun. It's fun messing with them bad rich people, man. Ain't nothing hey, like I need somebody to get this to Nate Hughes as well. We need him on the show as well. Damn. Get it to him. Oh, Got yeah. it tapping into all all coin legends, man. We can get Arnold Walker on here. Oh, um, yeah. Guys Go like on. all y'all, man. Feel free to come on the show. Holler at us, man. Yeah. Cause y'all all corn. I mean, y'all the reason why we here talking about all corn sports. Y'all the reason why we got hype over it. So, right. Yes, sir. I keep telling them. I ain't gonna tell nobody no. So if anybody want to come on the show, I, you know, I ain't gonna tell nobody no. Cause I let me tell you what. Before we get off here, cause I get so many calls. Okay, Arsenal. We got like I got a line on Arsenal. Black. I got a line. Yeah. Look yeah. for that soon. I got a line on Arsenal. Look for that soon. Probably maybe the next show. Um, I got I got a, I got a line on Arsenal, so uh, I gotta get Lee on too, man. I can make that happen. Who? Why y'all play so much, bro? Lee Robinson. Why they man, come on, oh, man. Why they playing? Hey, bro? fix man, y'all turf over there. Stop worrying about free. <laughs> yeah, a two. Hey, concrete. <laughs> concrete. <laughs> That's it. Hold on, ring concrete, bro. Come on, be chilling on that turf, man. <laughs> that job was terrible, bro. Them folks playing on green concrete, bro. Everybody don't need turf. That's all I'm gonna say. No, oh, no. I, I, I tell you, uh, uh, I'm getting stuff pulled up, man. Um, oh man. But yeah, hey, if y'all if y'all can't come out to practice. And why are you doing that, G? Two people who can never get off the mic when we start doing these live podcasts. G and Hope. There no. You go. no <laughs> G and Hope. I'm letting Hope take over, man. See, man, see, come see, on. Hope. No. Hope. no, 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 Hope, Hope, Hope. See, so Hope was very I'll be, quiet. I'll be acting a fool on my own show, you know. So I like this. I get to take a break on this one. I get to take a break and you say. <laughs> I was quiet today, though, because. Like, hey, hey, this is another one. Huh. Oh, hold on. Uh, Black say tall man. That's another one, and he he's also uh, agreed to be on the show. So yeah, we got we got to make that happen too. Cause tall I, man, listen, uh, we was watching the game the night, and um, man, tall man the best in the business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he the best in the business, bro. He not he not biased. Tall man is the best in the business. So we got to get tall man on the show. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, no cast from Tampa Sunday was tricking me out, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get this pull up so we can go watch the game. I don't know what. Man, what's the score, bro? Hold on. It's halftime right now. Time. So it's still like halftime. That's that'd be a long. After, after this, we all going to. Hey, you know what? What we should have did? We should have had a watch board and watched it together. Pull it that's up. We Praise. Should have. That's what we should have did. We got to do better. We got to start. Hey, yeah, we got to. I got to start going to practice, man. <laughs> Dang, bro. I, I let team down. There go. That's a spring practice schedule. If anybody want to come out and watch practice, uh, coach, coach wants you to come out. Um, so, uh, now who is that, Chris? Get the GG. So, G- March 19th, I'll be there. That's my birthday. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to on my birthday. Ooh. Hold on. Right. Let's see. I worked the 19th. Ooh. Look at him checking the schedule. Look at him checking the schedule. You ain't gonna do it but oversleep. <laughs> hey, bro. I'll be there the 23rd. I'll be there the 23rd. 23rd. And yeah, 23rd. Put me on 23rd. All right. Yeah. Hey, Trey, you hear that, huh? Well, 23rd. He said he's gonna be there on the 23rd. I'll be Ooh, there. Hope? Yeah, yeah I'll be there. Hey man. I ain't watching no kids the day before. Listen, look, bro. The, <laughs> you in the morning ain't gonna say nothing if you're there or not. So come on to practice. You said what, bro? <laughs> I said the people in the morning ain't gonna say nothing if you're there or not. So come on to practice. <laughs> you start thinking people start thinking I'm a funeral home director or something. <laughs> Stop saying that, bro. Hey, bro. But, uh, man, I'm ready to get the practice. But I ain't, I ain't gonna leave. I ain't gonna practice. Bro. Bro. I enjoy I, it, man. 
Big big shout out to just the athletic department for allowing us the access. You right. know, we was looking at so what we gonna do? Um, it's like set up, have the backdrop over practice, where you can you know get some get some clips of practice while we doing our show. So um, man, we, we got it all cool to talk about. So uh, so uh, shout out. To also another one, Midwood Conference in Flowood next Thursday through Sunday. So uh, make sure y'all, you know, it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be the biggest one we've had. In recent years, for sure. Um, so check that out. And, uh, I say, fates want to put the fitter on. <laughs> man, man we about to go, bro. <laughs> I say, fates. <laughs> hey, we we got to pray for fates, man. Fates, um, uh, fire, fire. Y'all talk about me. Fates, fire some stuff in the hearse today. <laughs> man, you are Blake, my guy. You already know you can. Look, and if, let me tell y'all something else. If, if any organized, this is, this is the organized show. So if anybody got any businesses y'all want to promote, anything like that, just let me know. I'll put it on here. You know, it's all love. Um, anything y'all want to promote, come on. Anything for organized, I'm willing to do it. Anything, just tell me. I, I'm not gonna say oh. no. I keep telling you. That. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta pull me to the side and say, "Gee, you can say this." You can come on here and say it yourself. Uh, right. it, you know what I'm saying? Call in, come right up and say it yourself. Um, but we can do that. Um, anything y'all want? Hey man, go to hell. Review is down for y'all. Shout shout out to our equipment manager, man. He, he showed love, bro. Big shout out. All right, man. I'm about to go, bro. Waste man. <laughs> bro, that was that, that's messed up, bro. He ain't had to say that, bro. No, I mean, I appreciate on, you giving him the shout out. I mean, I get you giving him the shout out, bro. But you ain't had to do me like that, bro. No, bro. I wouldn't even know that at that moment, dog. <laughs> that man showed love, man. He definitely showed G. And hey, real talk. Hey, you gotta connect me with. Him. You gotta connect me with him, cause I I, I really will. Oh, it's just. All right. I don't know thing, but yeah, I really will. Oh, uh, so you connect with him, we'll do it. Oh man, the eighteen seventy one collect, collect the workshop at Midwood Conference nine a.m. Saturday, eighteen seventy one workshop. I ain't know my girl Shan was on here, man. Shout out to Shan, bro. Had them boys down at A McCann. There she go. I don't know what he what she talking about. Man. Had the collective guys at A McCann, man. So that's oh, it. So uh, if y'all ain't got nothing else. I'm going to see why these boys playing like this. They got a minute before halftime to move. So uh, y'all ain't got nothing else. How you seeing that, bro? I'm on my phone. I'm watching it on my phone. Oh. Oh, I'm too I, I, I could have put it up here. We watched it together, but we, you know, yeah, too far on shorter. Yeah, you know, I got a couple. I got you. you know. hey, one for hey, the plug and one for the load. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, wish, wish, wish I got had the birthday for us, man. Oh, I will. Over there with him. Yeah, tell him. bro. Tell him. He downstairs. Yeah. Tell we will happy birthday. We are ready, man. Happy birthday, bro. Happy sure. birthday. Oh wait, and before we go, um, I want to keep um Cam started my in our prayers. Most um, a DB, uh, he was involved in a, in a wreck, and just so I want to keep him and his family in our prayers. Um, he's recovering from the um, accident right now. I don't really have a, too much of an update, but I know he um, is recovering. I just want to keep him in this, keep him. He's away from the team, I think, indefinitely. So uh, I want to keep him in our prayers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How did this collection oh, come together? So last question: How did this come about? I think I. So first, was, okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all. Okay, this is how I started. So Ho hit me up, right? It was first it was me and Hope, right? Hope here we talking on Twitter, like we should do a show, we should do a show. So it took us forever, you know. We finally do a show with me and Hope. Well, Benny and Trey was coming on every week. So we like, we like, let's do it, you know, and let's do it all together. So that's how this how this how happened, you know. The, cra- the crazy the crazy part, because the second show that y'all did, G was like, Trey, you gonna be on the show. I ain't <laughs> asking you, I'm telling you. He like this. Hey, Trey he just, he just sent me, yeah. he just sent me an invite. I was like, I'm not gonna get on there. <laughs> say like straight up. He was like, "Man, I ain't, I ain't asking you. I'm telling you." I'm like, this is <laughs> so sometimes you got, sometimes you got to make demands. It's like an violent told me I'm gonna do something. Man. I mean, he violent told me, bro. We talked about it about a year ago, and then I was like, "Nah, we probably gonna never get it off the ground." Then all of a sudden, G sent me the link. I said, "Bro, what? What are we doing? Just the show, bro." I said, "Oh, I." Like no preparations or nothing. <laughs> Just last minute, like I am. Go. It's all. 
Hey, he say a bit a bit late ass shit. <laughs> 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 but yeah, put a game back on, bro. So we're gonna go to the uh, all corn channel and watch game if y'all want to tune in, man. Go to the all corn state athletics YouTube channel, tune into the game. But if y'all ain't got nothing else, nothing else until next time, go to him review. Hey, before we leave, I I'd, I'd have left y'all along again. I need some of the tax money next show. I ain't yeah, next, yeah, next show we get that tax money. <laughs> Next show we get that tax money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next show we get that tax money. <laughs> I need I need them last two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We go. <laughs>